Weight control is a problem that concerns each and every one of us everywhere. In today's world, it's an enormous challenge to eat healthily and mindfully. As it's not only what we eat, but also how we eat. Everyone knows it, people eat too fast. This is Jacques Lepine. I've heard it my whole life. My grandmother told me, my mother told me, and now my wife is telling me, you're eating too fast. Eat slowly. And why? Because it takes 20 minutes to feel full. Because it takes 20 minutes for your brain to tell you to stop eating. So if you care about your weight, just eat slowly. It's not easy to do. I don't know if you've tried, on my side, I've tried many tricks. Counting to 10, switching hands, dropping the fork. You try to focus, you try to pay attention to your meal, to your eating habit, but it doesn't take long for your mind to just get distracted and you think about something else. And without even noticing it, you go back to eating too fast. In 2004, the North American Association for the Study of Obesity demonstrated that eating at a slower rate results in people eating less which may help them lose weight. In other words, eating fast equals eating more. In 2006, Melanson's study from the University of Pennsylvania revealed an average difference of 67 calories more per meal ingested in between slow eaters and fast eaters. Eating fast equals more calories, 11% per meal. In 2011, a cross-national survey of over 3,000 people in Japan confirmed how eating too quickly versus slowly is statistically correlated to overweight. Eating fast is correlated to overweight. If I wasn't smart enough, then the fork had to be smart for me. The idea was one thing, but the challenge was then to really make it work. After so many years of striving for perfection, what was then only on paper is now a reality. Motion capture sensor, they are not adapted to a meal situation. It doesn't work, they give very poor results. We had to find a real solution, a sensor that was 100% efficient, and we found it. The second issue was to device it in a way that really respects the life of a fork. Basically, we were looking for a fork sophisticated and yet rough enough to endure an everyday use before the meal, during the meal, after the meal. Not easy for a tool to be able to monitor your eating behavior and yet be handy, rechargeable, discreet, safe, reusable, that could be easily stored and transported. And it's a fork, so it needs to be washed just like any other fork, by hand or in a dishwasher. We worked just as hard to meet the highest quality and safety standards as we did in finding the right partners. Happy Labs was the right fit. Their team is very well experienced in weight control. And I remember the day I met Jack Lepine, the inventor of the Happy Fork. And I told myself that that's exactly what we need to help people take control of their health. If you are eating too quickly, Happy Fork will remind you to slow down with a gentle vibration at the end. This subtle reminder will help you to enjoy your meal mindfully and in a relaxed manner. Why nobody came up with the idea before that? And I told myself, yes, that's the device that is gonna change the way people eat. And eating slowly is very important for your health because you will have enough time to chew the food before the digestion. So this is why this device is the solution to change eating behavior and improve your eating habits. The Happy Fork comes with a free mobile application that you can download on your iPhone or on your Android phone and with an online dashboard where you have access to a free coaching program. After your meal, the Smart Fork will allow you to follow your eating habits using the data that is gathered daily. 
so that you can easily improve your heating behavior. I really loved it because it was so simple. I mean, really, it was still a fork. It is a fork. It's almost stupid in its simplicity. And at the same time, it's one of the most intelligent products that I've seen precisely because it is so simple. The first time I saw the Happy Fork, I mean, really what I liked the most about it is that you have a, an enormous amount of complexity around these days. And, and suddenly you're confronted with something that can be simpler than a fork. Ultimately, it's still just a fork. However, now it's suddenly a very intelligent fork. It's a smart fork. It's a fork that will help you do something. And that today and doing it in the, the simplicity that's delivered with a Happy Fork is very unusual and very unique. The tool is ready. Happy Fork is ready. If you know you're eating too quickly, or if you know someone who's eating too quickly, and if you think Happy Fork can be helpful for you, with Kickstarter, we can make it happen. With your help, we can bring Happy Fork to you.